I'm going to speak about systemic treatment in that specific session. So I guess, you, as you know, so there is always a bit a question about these patients that have so, so-called clinical N1 disease, so CN1 disease. And um, in reality, we see more and more of these patients because we are doing more and more of these PSMA PET CTs, um, where you find much more lymph nodes, lesion, lymph node lesions that you maybe would have missed with a conventional imaging. So, or certainly have missed with a conventional imaging if they are very small. Um, so so here, I, we, because we also, as you probably know, do always these um, consensus conferences that are called APCCC, so um, Advanced Prostate Cancer Consensus Conferences, um, where we found out that in that specific topic, there is a lot of non-consensus. So we, so the, even the experts, because there were 57 experts voting on, on these questions, um, don't really know what is the right, the correct thing to do. What is pretty clear, most of the experts wouldn't give systemic treatment alone or local treatment alone. So most of the experts would really give a combination. But what exactly is, is always a bit of question. So for the local radical treatment, um, obviously there is more data about radiotherapy, but there were in our experts were also some people who would say, okay, maybe we could also do surgery. So, so I guess that is one of the open questions. And there is also currently no trial ongoing that really does um, this comparison, this, this real comparison, which one is, is the better option for the local treatment. Um, and then again, like, what should you add as systemic treatment? Okay, this is ADT, but what should be the duration of the ADT? And again, the, there is much more data about the combination radiotherapy and ADT and much less about, um, obviously, surgery in that case. And then Obviously, there is that very important question, and I guess we will hear really exciting data also at ESMO um, from the Stampede trial and the M0 update um, from the arms with Abby and the arm Abby placenta that is presented by Gert Otto. So should we even add something new, you know, not one of the novel endocrine agents um, to the ADT. So I think there's a lot of open questions. It's, it's really interesting. Uh, Pete Ost, I think, in that session also has a talk about is the, the PSMA PET CT really helping us um, or is it just like creating a lot of confusion? I think, you know, to be really honest, at least in, in my country, the PSMA PET CT is here to stay. So we will have it. It's approved for for staging um, in high risk um, and infants, and also for intermediate risk patients. So we will see these patients who are positive in PSMA PET CTs in the lymph nodes, and and the question will arise: What are we doing? And I think that just poses a lot of interesting questions, right? So um, maybe even the question: If you have a PSMA PET without lesions should you omit for example the lymphadenectomy if you do a radical prostatectomy i think there could be also questions of de-escalation not always questions of escalation of treatment right so i think there's um, a, a lot really so many new things coming with these new imaging modalities that we have